I've just noticed there's some funny marks from the tape. That's a bit annoying, so I'm going to have to take off the upper tape because they're running over each other. Best not to use the wine to dilute the paint. Now then, let's get a bit of this raw umber, strengthen it up a bit. That should do it, I think. Well, you've got a mark on the painting there where the brush went. What, here? Yeah. No, that's from before. It is from yesterday, but you know that it's going to turn it into something. It's quite useful. I don't know what it is yet, but it's going to uh, be quite useful. Right, those are those two, except it needs a bit more. That's more like it. Look, have a nice bit of strip. Ah, oh, look, that could make it look quite interesting. Let's leave it like that. And then here's this bit. Right. Right. There, this is all going to make a bit more sense now. Right. Now I'm a bit impatient, but I'm happy with what I did up there. And it's quite nice working quickly. And also, I've got to, uh, there you see, ah, oh, that makes a lot more sense. Except, of course, I've gone into the other one. There, that's it. But at least there, the tones now are right. Yes, that's a nice reverse tone. That's better. I reuse the tape because you don't want it to be too stick too strongly. So by using it and reusing it, there's less risk of the uh, I see what I did. Right. You've created a maze, Dad. I have. You've got to unpick your puzzle. I'll unpick my little puzzle. But it doesn't matter because I think. I think that top bottom one is the next one to go. Yeah, I've got to put a bit more of this. It drinks this burnt umber. Drinks it. Mind you, look, you see, look, it's the cheaper make. It's still Dale Aroni, but it's the cheaper one. And this, this is one reason it's cheaper. It doesn't have the bite of the Liquitex. So look, you can put it on almost raw. That's it. Now we're getting somewhere. And you can capitalise on its weakness to give it a bit of oomph. There. Now. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's have that guy off. And this, of course, is the outer edge. You see, this is all oil paint. And that's the beauty of it. It's quite robust. No airbrushing, and at last, yes, look, that's giving us the edge of the building, isn't it? You know, this is beginning to define it now. Uh, we do that one. There. There. Now I can begin, and I've got the streaks, which I like. So I'm going to wait for it to dry. Then I'm going to put in the pale side of it. And then, once I put the shadow in, 
we've got a structure. So it's probably a good idea to let that dry. This, I think, would be just about, there we are. So we've corrected the false perspective there. Now, as everyone knows, who's watched this, I get very impatient, but I'm going to have the good sense to let that dry. I'm just going to, good old raw sienna, and because a lot of it, so we might as well use a bit of it. So let's just use raw sienna to tidy it up a bit. And because it's a thinner paint, it's much less risk of, of doing something that we don't want. So look. And of course the beauty of using tape is it does give you hard edges which you can simply cut in against because the final painting doesn't really need to be as precise as that. Now, we're beginning to get somewhere. Once I get past a certain stage, then it becomes quite compelling because what you're really doing is filling in the detail. There. I'll use a smaller brush after this. Now, there. Now, and of course I've got a problem area here. That should be a return. I'll do that later. Right, I can see what it is, look. I can see what it is, look, it's a, uh, let's, uh, let's, Yes, you see, this is like a, a self-standing tower, or it will be. And I, incidentally, look, I like those streaks. But let's get this in. Right. Now, what I've got to work out is that box that's a box coming forward, it should really throw a shadow. But what I'll do is... Uh, although it's not the finished painting, I'm just going to highlight the box. Ah, oh, yes, that's what it is. So, again, good old raw sienna. This is purely a construction coat of paint. It's not the finished coat because I've got to work out how the shadows go. Sometimes I just get a bit too complicated for my own good. So, as we can see, so all we're going to do is do the return side. There you are, you see, look. This is that will do for the return colour. But then I've got to work out Because I'm impatient, because it's drying quickly, I'm just going to add that on. Ah, now at least, look, I've got the shape of the main building now. And now I can decide how the box works. Does it throw a shadow or not? <laughs> Why do I make them so complicated? Goodness only knows. Uh, and then just on an impulse, I'm going to bob in a bit of paint on this upper part. So this is going to be all heavily corroded. Look, I like this texture, do you see? Look, 
So this, I'm only doing it like this to imply sort of corrosion and, and texture. And then just a diddy bit of light here. So this is some sort of big corroded structure. Yeah, yeah I like that. And then this. I spent some time in Latvia a few years ago now, and where I was staying, the Russians had left and all the industry had collapsed. And there were these monumental mills and factory buildings like this, which I found quite fascinating. But I was photographing them and hadn't noticed this security guard who, on a bank holiday, was actually stealing the copper cable. He was stripping it and stealing it, and he thought I was photographing him. So we had a fascinating confrontation, and I almost fell over with the vodka fumes. He was drunk as a lord. So I told him that I own, my company owned the factory and he would lose his job if he didn't let go of the camera. And I was there with a Latrian friend and she um, asked me to pass the phone to him and she carried on on this theme. And finally, very disgruntled, he returned the camera. Now you see, look, when I don't concentrate, when I talk about something different, they come out quite well. So look, that's already implying this sort of corroded effect that so fascinated me in Latvia. And I got to ride on a Russian train and they said, if I came back, I could have a proper journey on it. Big five foot, two inch. I still have managed to get back. Quite fascinating to someone, you know, from the West. Still a huge imprint of the Russians everywhere. Aye. There, a bit more highlight. Right. That should do, I just want a tiny bit more. I have to get quite firm with this stuff sometimes. There, that should do it. Yeah, I shall come back to this, but that's the basis of it. Just meld it in a bit. There, now that is beginning to take shape, except I do have the problem of this. I really have a problem with that. What's the problem? Well, that box is sort of forward of this, but it, so it should probably throw a shadow. I'm tempted, I think what I'm gonna do, is bring this forward to up to here and leave that behind. I think that would be the way to do it. It's too complicated otherwise. I'll wait for the paint to dry and then we'll do that. Do that tomorrow. It's too complicated. There, so look, we'll leave the building, except I've got a bit of paint to use up. So let's use this up down here. More of that white. And a bit more of the white in here. Aye. Just 
I'm probably going to have to darken the background. Now I can just use up this colour on this. When this is that's going on really well, it's actually drying as I put it on, which is great. Waste not, what not. So, there, look, we've used all the paint up there. Right. I've still got my trusty burnt sienna, <laughs> it goes on forever, doesn't it? So let's use up the old burnt sienna. God, you don't need to put much of this out. Right. Now that would be a weaker colour in here. It wouldn't be black black. That's a bit of it down the spout. But it is... Um, uh, that wouldn't be so black, would it? making more sense. Mm. Right. That all. There. I wonder what I'm going to do about that. If I put a bit of sienna underneath, that's it. When you paint shadow, the actual shadow thrown is always darker than the top thing. Now look, you see that goes to, really, that could come forward. Oh, I'll fiddle with that tomorrow. Bothers me. Bothers me. Um, let's have a bit of light in here. that. Dear old Mr. Sienna, what, what can we do? Ah, ha, ha. There is something we can do. In fact, we'll get some new tape out for this. This is putting right the mysterious vanishing point. Now, where is that one going? It should theoretically go down to this vanishing point there. In fact, I think we'll do that. You see, sometimes I use a very strong perspective and it increases the drama. And I think that's exactly what I'm doing here. I want to increase the drama. I love driving in France and sometimes you get into strange villages and defiles. This can go well. It's, it's, I'm going to cheat. There. Um, and you get into strange villages and defiles and this just reminds me of that, of going up through a tall narrow road with a chateau appearing through the gaps. And I think that's what's giving me this upward feeling. Now we're beginning to get somewhere. I'd be so proud when all this perspective mat matches up. Here is this. Right. 
about right. All this just to use up that funny old bit of sienna umber. And the light is so tricky, you know, the light on these returns is so important. It gives them the depth and angle and everything. And, you know, if you get it wrong, it's so irritating. So that is about right. And then we will come in here. Hi. There. There. This, in a way, is really going to set the job on. It's an uh, evil contrast to that spaceship. The whole thing's leaning. So at some stage, I'm going to have to balance it with something out there. But I think this will do the trick. Sure, it's all held down really well. And uh, there's just enough of that orange left. Yes, look. Just enough of it. It is going to streak beautifully. Look, look. I have to give it a diddy diddy bit of um, the orange. Yes, because look, it's too strong otherwise. Oh, that was a silly thing to do. And what are we going to do with all that? How annoying. That is a bit annoying. I'll think of something. So many paintings have got bits on them which were just basically using the colour up. Justifies the orange, doesn't it? Look, that gives it a real bit of colour. And we can meld it. There. That'll do the trick there. There. I draw in the lines, but I, I can just put them back in again. It's quite easy. Uh. This is another one that's got to be uh, sorted a bit. That is really bothering me. That. It doesn't make any sense the way it is there. It really doesn't make any sense at all. In fact, what I'm going to do is, there's still a bit of wet paint there, but look, um, it's really bothering me. Oh, that's what it is, look. It's a bit like a snooker game. I'm trying to set up a snooker and look. That goes to there, doesn't it? 
which means... It's not wet underneath, Dad. Sorry? That's wet underneath, isn't it? No, well, a bit. Mm. It's a bit. It means this comes through to here. There. You, now it's beginning to make sense. Now it's beginning to make sense. So, in fact, this is part of that. And then I'll have to do something with that. So that... That's exactly what it is, look. Sometimes, just to save paint, I just take it straight out the tube, which is what I'm going to do now. Uh, let's put this over. Because I'm taking it out of the white tube, I should really make it very clean. Ah! There we are, it's actually beginning to make sense now. I like working late like this and then in the morning coming in and in the raw light of day seeing what it looks like. And perhaps people can now realise just how much work goes into these pictures. The reason I was so upset about the Glenn Brown coffee of my painting, which sold in Sotheby's five and a half million, was because, just like this, these wretched pictures take so much work. And then some clever little sod comes along and rips it off. I think this is beginning to make sense. And then tomorrow we'll do that. throw such a big shadow be something like that there now that's beginning to come together now well we'll stop this bit and then we can restart with the spaceship there, so that's as much as I'm going to do tonight on this, except, no, I'm going to leave the tape on. Let's be disciplined. I'll leave that on till the morning. So what we can now do is stop this. <laughs> 